Um, my coach, Marat Tomiov, he, um, he was teaching the club. It was him and Chris Pryor. They were teaching the club. It was called Iron Eagle. And he used to go to Blair. He knew Buxton and everything. So he kind of got me in contact with Buxton. I talked with him. And then I went out and I actually saw the school. I wrestled around with the guys on the team. And I, I just really liked it. So, you know, we got we got the talking and then they sent me out there and then we worked out we worked out the whole situation where I was able to attend there and go to school. But I only did one year because usually they expect you to do like another post grad year or a repeat year when you go there. But I was like, no, I just want to do one year and that's it. <laughs> and did you live there? Um I yeah, I was born in there. Oh wow. What is that experience like living like living with all these kids who outside of the wrestling team, a lot of them are just from all over the world, right? Oh man, it's it's crazy because it, it's it's just like college, just like college. Because there was a lot of Chinese kids there. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of Chinese kids. There was um, some black. They were like like you said, they were all over the world. Um, but it was just it, it was just so different because I, I never lived away from home. I never went. And to me, this was like a, a forever, um, what do you call that? Forever sleepover. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I was like, I never have to come home. I was like, this is crazy. And they put us on a block schedule, which is like, just like college type college things. We, it was, um, it wasn't, it wasn't a uniform school, but there was a dress code. So we had to wear ties or some type of collared shirt, khaki pants. So it was, it was a big life changer for me. It was like, man, this is, this is the real deal. I'm like at a school where they like, you know what I mean? Like when you're in public school and then you go to private school and it's a private boarding school, it's like world, world of difference, man. World of difference. I, mean, I wasn't, I wasn't like, ready for it, but I just kind of adjusted. How long did it take you? Um, man. Probably like my half the, half the year, half the school year. Half just, year. just cause it, just because it was weird, because like, you know, when you have the block schedule, you you go to school, like, um, when I go to, when I was in public school, I already had my whole schedule, my whole routine, everything was worked out, but when you go to, when I was doing the block schedule, it's like, okay, so I go to this class only Monday and Tuesday, then I go to this one on only Tuesdays and, and Fridays, and this one, and then it just kind of threw me off, because I was like, man, I'm always looking at my schedule, I'm always trying to keep up with this, and I'm always late to something, because I'm, you know, because you're like, man, I finally got a week, you're like, I finally got a minute to take a break, and then you're just sitting there watching the movie, you're like, damn, I got a class, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and you guys would have to eat dinner together too right yeah we it was um we we had like regular school lunches where the whole school would eat but then there was um i think it was thursday night dinners where they would have the whole school everybody would dress up in formal attire and we'll go out we'll go into the main um dining hall and then every the whole school will be there all the grades and then they would have teachers sitting at the end of every table and then everybody would just sit there conversate eat food we all had the same thing it kind of sounds like the Hogwarts Hall and like the Harry Potter oh, yeah. movie. Yeah, it was a lot like that. It was. It was. <laughs> <laughs> and so what about the great Jeff Buxton? He's been on the show. You know, he's uh, just one of the greatest coaches, I think, that we've had at the high school level, maybe ever. Um, just an amazing guy. What about his philosophy really sticks stuck with you as you went into college? Um, Man, he just, man, he gave me so much. I, I can't even tell you how much he gave me but he just he just had such a good way of like teaching it's just he made it stick and a lot I had a lot of coaches that would teach me something I just couldn't get the technique or whatever but when Buxton showed you he just knew what to tell you and what to kind of focus on just to kind of get that talk just to get to the lock in the technique and and it, I, I feel like when I was in when I was at Penn State Whenever somebody would show me something, like I would, I literally would think about it and break it down the way that Buxton would do it. Like I was like, okay, how would Buxton think about this? How would he break this down? Like how would this? How would he? How would he try to put this technique into someone? You know. And so, is it like the way he like broke it down into different steps, or would you guys just drill it in different ways? He will break it down the, into steps, but then like he will make us drill. Um, I just remember every time I was in there, I just didn't want to upset Buxton. <laughs> I would drill hard. <laughs> I was like, I'm not getting hit today. <laughs> but I was, yeah, I would drill hard all the time. But he, and it was just his demeanor too. Like he, he didn't let a guy come in and just drag ass and drag everybody else down. He was like, you know what? Before you even get into the room, everybody has their shoes on. Everybody has their shoes tied up. It's not like you're getting here at a, 
at, at, um, at practice time and then you're and then you're going to start practicing then you're going to start tying up your shoes he was like no you get everything correct by the time you hit the door and then when you're in the room it's nothing but wrestling and he was really good at just setting everybody up men- mentally just saying this is wrestling time everything else doesn't matter just get your ass out there and wrestle man i love how he doesn't let guys in the room until they're ready like got their shoes on but mentally too yeah that's amazing and so yeah i mean every everything you you think about buxton is he just makes you become more of a professional like he's just all about the business you know gets things yeah. done so you start wrestling for him was your debut tournament that iron man tournament that year that was one of them oh, uh I, honestly i think that i think that was the one that was in the beginning i think that was the first one that we wrestled and that that one I, I didn't really know what i was walking into i was like what the hell is iron man because i that was my first time what? ever going there i did not know about it and then when they they just threw us in it and then my mom was like if you win this then you'll be number one in the country for your weight class and i was like oh so that's iron man so <laughs> of course i i, I was like okay I'm, I'm gonna try and win it and i won it 